else in the world. Get the same feeling at the Mercedes-Benz Summer Event. Just come in and walk through that dealership door. You get the Mercedes-Benz. Let's go. 
How's it going, y'all? Back here with a new damn video. This is my recap of the Eagles vs. Ravens. I just got back, I would say. Oh, I think I got something. Let me make sure we go. I just got back, I would say, roughly two hours ago. It was a real good game. Fun as hell to be there in person, especially for preseason. I didn't expect it to be that good. It was really good. Uh, the hype for Tim Tebow, as you guys just saw, is really, really high. You know, Tebow mania is running wild and that shit. When I took away from the game, I'll get the Tim Tebow since I just talk about him. The guy cannot throw the football. Or he can, but he's just not very accurate at all. Every time he, every time he gets, the, gets the ball, he tries to roll out. Every time he rolls out, rolls out to his left, tries to throw it. Guy can't throw. Um, he was one for four for a running touchdown. Guy wide open in the end zone, decides not to hit him, but hey, it's whatever. Um, Matt Barkley, he looked decent. Sanchez looked pretty good. He's So he's probably going to be, geez, you know, with his job. Bradford, he looked, I would say at times he took a little bit too much time on his reads, but got the ball out quickly. He has a goddamn laser. Probably has the best arm since, probably be our best arm at quarterback since McNabb. Now, people would debate Michael Vick, but Michael Vick wasn't that accurate. Now, either was McNabb, but hey, whatever. Um, dude's pretty good. Uh, his first game back, he was, I think he had uh, five attempts, completed three of them for 67 yards, and uh, he marches down for a touchdown. Ryan Matthews punched it in. Really good game by him. Um, Suggs, man, Suggs, dude, I told my boy. I was like, bro, Suggs one of the dirtiest motherfuckers in the league. And um, I told people, I was like, yo, he's going to try to go for Bradford. I mean, he's the easiest guy to go for. And then he tries to go for the legs. Now, people say he went for the, it was because, oh, he's the read option. You know, he something with the read option. He thought it was a read option uh, thing. So that's how it is because he played them in practice. It's not like that, okay? The dude was doing a play action, and if it was a read option, oh, let me guess. You really think he's going to take it 67 yards for a touchdown? Oh, so a lot of space. Get the fuck out of here. Um, especially Bradford. You really think Bradford's going to do that? The dude who just came back from two ACLs, but, you know, it's whatever. A late hit, legal hit on him. I mean, illegal. That shit, bro, smashed right into him, and he went for the ACLs. He didn't go for the chest or no, he knew what he was doing. He went right for the legs. And Bradford somehow like spun out of it a little bit, but he got hit, and I was I was freaking out. I was screaming and yelling like, "Yo, how the hell are you gonna do it to my my goddamn quarterback?" I was like, "You goddamn scum!" I was getting nuts in there. Um, I almost blew up my freaking vocal cords and screaming so loud. Then Bradford got hit again and was got up holding his shoulder, so I was really scared of that. But besides that, I'm happy he took some hits because now he's getting used to it again. And uh, it's funny, there's a, there's a vine on YouTube. Uh, Twitter, where he's like, I'm good, I'm good. Are you fucking kidding me? Because they tried pulling him out, you know. He really said that, if you, if you lip read it, because they, they pulled him out of the game. But, you know, it, it's whatever. It's his first time back. Next week is the dress rehearsal, so this is where the starters play two or three quarters. I expect them to play at least two to three, as I said, and it's a really important game for us. Um, we looked really good. Maxwell with the pick. The Philly loves this guy, man. They really do. Just like just like I told uh, I told you guys, I got his autograph and told him, "Yo, pick off Matt Ryan for me." And he said, "I got you, cuz," and he signed my shit and clapped me up. Um, Walter Thurman had a pick. Nolan Carroll looked like Richard Sherman on that one play where he tipped it, and then Nolan Carroll. I mean, Nolan Carroll looked like Richard Sherman tipped it, and Walter Thurman got it, kind of like they did in the championship. But it wasn't Walter Thurman who got the pick. You get the deal. Um, pretty good play at the corner. Um, corner position by Maxwell, and Thurman's looking really good. The front seven, once again, they couldn't get pressure. I mean, they brought pressure, but they couldn't get, they couldn't go through with it. You know what I mean? But, hey, overall, it was a good performance for the team. Kenyon Barner, you are making the team, dude. That guy we signed, I can't remember his name, Ryan Mozid or some shit like that, he's not making the team. You know what I'm talking about? I think it's 48 or 39. I can't remember his number, but he's not making the squad. Kenyon Barner's making the team. Back-to-back -back weeks with punt returns, and they're saying he could be our permanent kick returner starting week one. That would be really good. Uh, this guy deserves a spot on the team. He showed what he can do, and it looks like things are good for that guy, and things are going good for us. Uh, I hope we lose one preseason game, though. I mean, last time we went 4-0 in preseason, we went 4-12 and in the regular season, 2012, actually. And after the preseason, people had us going to the Super Bowl in 2012, and then we just shit that down the toilet. Tampa Bay went 4-0 in the pre, uh, preseason before, and they went they had number one overall pick. Um, uh, 
the lines, you already know the deal. Now, I'm not really into curses and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like, oh, there's a curse and stuff. But I just, it's just better. You know what I mean? So we'll see what happens. Um, I know you don't go out there and try to lose a game. But, hey, we'll see what happens. Secondary look good. Quarterbacks look good. We'll see how it plays out. DeMarco Murray got his first touchdown as an eagle. Congratulations, bro. Ryan Matthews, dude looks like a beast. Murray, five carries for 17 yards. He looks pretty good, too. Um, but we'll see what happens. That's about it, guys. Like this video, subscribe, and comment below on your thoughts. I want to know how do you guys feel about the game, how do you feel about Bradford's performance, and uh, how do you feel about next week's game, and how do you feel about the hits? Were they legal? Were they illegal? Um, were they just downright dirty? You know, what was it? Let me know. Peace, y'all. Go Birds.